As many of you know, I switched back in March from PC to Mac and it has blown my mind. It has been an experience that I will never forget. I am in love. I'm in love with Mac. I said it, I mean it, but there is something that the MacBook Pro Max M2 is lacking that my PC did have and that was a ton of ports on the back, like Ethernet and USB-C and Display Ports, and it, it it was kind of weird to go to something that had less. Then I realized there's something special about a MacBook Pro Max M2, and that is Thunderbolt 4. And with Thunderbolt 4, you can add a lot of that stuff in a small package like this. So today, we are gonna be talking about this and it's gonna blow your mind just like it blew mine. And if it doesn't, you need to watch this video again because it will blow your mind eventually. I don't know when, but it will. Welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, welcome. My name is Jared Hoyman. I'm a nerd. I like long walks on the beach, mostly with computers and cameras in my hand. Um, and my wife once in a while, but mostly computers. Don't tell her that. So today we're gonna to be talking about the CalDigit Thunderbolt 4 docking station. This has been amazing for my MacBook Pro Max M2. And because it is Thunderbolt 4, you are getting a huge connection with it. And with all these peripherals and in the back, it's like looking at a PC all over again in a small little package, making very little noise to no noise at all. It compliments my MacBook. To really understand why I appreciate this to its fullest, you have to understand where I came from when it came to a PC. Forever did I own PCs. I built them, I ran them, I ruined them, I crashed them, and then I had to go buy some more. But the problem with PCs is they're loud. They're absolutely loud. The fans are loud. Everything is loud about them. I mean, look at these beautiful colors inside of here, these RGBs that you get, but it seriously was so hot in my office. I had to open up windows in the winter. This is Wisconsin. We're like negative 20 and I was still heating up this office. Not to mention, I don't know why people say that because I'm gonna mention it anyways, but not to mention, but mentioning, it made so much noise, I couldn't do any voiceover work or tutorials without hearing a humming in the background. So when I finally decided to go over to Mac, I went with the MacBook Pro Max M2, and this thing is dead quiet. I mean, I can't even hear a fan turn on. I've ran so many programs on it that when it does run, it's like I still could barely hear it. It is amazing. So voiceover work has been good. And that is where this CalDigit TS4, I believe it's called the TS4, comes in. I did a lot of research and out of all the docking stations that give you everything you need as a photographer and videographer, this seemed to strike all those little bells and whistles. I don't know if you strike bells or whistles, maybe you just check them off, I don't know. It has SD and micro SD, so now you don't have to use those adapters when it comes to you know your micro SD cards. It also has a 20 watt USB-C in the front so you can charge your phone, or in my case, I charge my, you know, my mouse every four months because the thing is awesome. So on the back of this, you get a 2.5 gigabit ethernet, which is, Pretty freaking awesome. That is a good speed right there. So now you can hardwire directly to it. 
Um, you also have DisplayPort 1.4. Now, I don't use the DisplayPort because, well, the Mac has HDMI 2.1 and I'm running 120 hertz on my OLED, and so it's awesome as another monitor. On the front, you do have a head jack port and a full USB port as well. And of course, those two USB-C datas, one of them is 20 watts, which is the one that's gonna power whatever you want, including, guess what? If you have a Canon R6 Mark II or a Canon R7 or any of the latest Canons, you can power your Canon through this as well, through the USB. So if you're using that as a webcam, you're good. And then you have some more Thunderbolt 4s in the back and then obviously the one that connects directly to your computer. Now, the 2.5 gigabit ethernet is going to just be fine for most of you. And I mean fine, it's going to be awesome, but nothing's just fine or just awesome for me. I ended up getting a Thunderbolt 4 10 gigabit ethernet because I wanted it. Don't judge me. I will tell you that 10 gigabit ethernet is amazing. I should show you my setup. Maybe that's another video. I'm using Wi-Fi 6E with a mesh system with 10 gigabit connections on the back of those meshes and then connected to that. And I'm getting wirelessly two and a half gigabit speeds. Now I'm doing my best to show you what this looks like in my hand because guess what? When you buy this, it is going to look smaller than you thought. Even right now, this thing is tiny. On my desk, it is tiny. It, it's just very small. One thing it's not is it's not cool in the sense that it actually runs pretty hot. So if you want to heat up your hands in the winter, just touch it. It will heat up your hands. It's not going to melt anything, but yes, it does get hot. And so does most Thunderbolt 4 peripherals like this do. Including that 10 gigabit ethernet adapter, that thing definitely heats up and gets hot too, but I have come to expect that for anything Thunderbolt 4 that has a lot of power to it. Now, you do have the choice of the vertical or the horizontal, and actually up until this review, I've been doing it horizontally. Take that any way you want, I don't care. But now I wanna try it vertically because it's different. I like different positions and this would be a good position for me. Now I am leaving a link below for this and I really do highly suggest it, especially if you're a Mac person. Now, if you have the Mac Studio, this is probably not for you. You probably don't need all of that. This is for those that have a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, Mac, not Studio. I just told you not to get it. And the reason you want this is because of those extra connections that you can have on there. It's nice. Now the problem with a big PC like that is it's a power suck. And in my house, which is an old house, I do have outages every so often. And if I don't have a battery backup, there goes the power, there goes my computer, there goes anything I'm saving. The nice thing about a laptop, and in this case, the MacBook Pro, is that the power goes out, you still have power on it. And with the MacBook Pro Max M2, you have 18 hours doing low grade things, video editing and photo editing. You can do that on a battery for about 13 hours and it rocks. Not to mention, but you know I'll mention, you can bring it anywhere you want and wirelessly, it has the same performance as if it was plugged in on the battery. This is probably one of the biggest recommendations I have for anybody with a laptop with Thunderbolt 4, and in this case, specifically the Mac, because it will definitely up your game. I forgot to mention one huge thing. The SD and the micro SD card run faster on here than they do actually on the MacBook Pro Max M2. I was pretty darn impressed on the speeds that I got out of this compared to natively right on the Mac. This Thunderbolt dock is $399 and I will tell you, it's worth every penny. It gives you so much more power to your Mac and options with all those peripherals on the back. If you found this video helpful, please like, and if you haven't already, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. If you're bored, there's some videos to watch there, and also click on the link and check this out because it is definitely worth it.